Charlie. Thank you. Um, I wanted to ask about Iran. Uh, does the United States have any idea who might be behind the bombings there today? And um, secondly, does the U.S. think the killing of the Hamas leader in Beirut has significantly changed um, the strength of Hamas? So on your first question, uh, we aren't at a point now where we have a lot of great detail on uh, on this bombing. Uh, certainly, our uh, our hearts go out to all the innocent victims uh, and their family members who are obviously their lives are going to be forever changed by this. But we don't have any um, we don't have any more detail in terms of how it happened or who would might be responsible for it. On your second question, uh, again, I, I would point you um, to. Uh, to our Israeli partners to talk more about this. Uh, that we're, we're, again, not in a position to uh, confirm the specific reports. I would just tell you uh, that al Huri uh, was a noted designated global terrorist. And if he is, in fact, dead, nobody should be shedding a tear over his loss. Uh, I know you said you don't have any great detail on who was responsible, but can you rule out that Israel had anything to do with this? We have no indication at this time at all that Israel was involved in any way whatsoever. No indication, but just to be clear, you don't think, did they support or assist in, in some other way? Uh, I, I would, I'm not going to speak for another nation. I would just tell you that we have no indication that Israel was in any way involved in this. And given that this was the Soleimani anniversary, uh, did you have any intelligence that something was being planned for this day? We certainly had uh, no indications that there would be some sort of violence surrounding uh, the anniversary of his death. Uh, just to follow up on uh, the, the Lebanon issue, is there any concern that that particular strike might uh, expand the conflict regionally? Well, I would just say, Trevor, everything that we've done, in fact, the laydown I just offered of the force posture changes that the president has ordered in the region has been designed to prevent an escalation or widening or deepening of this conflict. Um, as we've said before, we don't want to see it widen beyond Israel and Hamas. And again, we're going to keep working with partners in the region to prevent that from happening. Okay. And